Ellie uh, keeps looking outside, which is a little freaky. Do you hear her elf? It's been a while since I've just slept exposed like this. This is going to be fun. So Ellie and I are in uh, Shingwatana State Forest in Minnesota, and uh, we are heading out into the backcountry here uh, to a survival cabin. I'm going to be heading back in there on my bike and uh, towing a trailer that has all of our gear in it. Ellie, unfortunately, refuses to ride in this trailer, so she's going to have to walk. Thankfully, it's not too far, and we're going to be going uh, rather slowly. I picked up this trailer for 40 bucks, and uh, it's going to work just perfectly. Okay. All right, so the cabin is back on a series of trails that go deeper into the state forest. It is rather chilly and uh, we're gonna get down to freezing tonight, but uh, you should be prepared for that. It's absolutely beautiful out right now. Uh, fall is here, in fact, makes for uh, some refreshing colder temperatures. Uh, but tonight, I hope it remains in the refreshing category and not the, uh, the really cold category. <laughs> Riding with this trailer is a little tricky, mainly because of all the rocks that are out here. You really got to manage your speed so you don't put too much wear and tear on it. Well, this is our home for the night. As you can see, it's very modest. <laughs> really just built to get you out of the elements. So you can see we've got a little bit of trash in here we'll have to pick up. What do you think, Al? Can we make do in here for the night? I think so. Let's get you some water and then we'll uh, unload the gear. It's time to make this place home, and uh, the first thing that I wanted to do is see if there's any way to drape a tarp over the front of it, just to give us a little bit of a wind barrier. Now to get this thing to stay up, I'm gonna just pound in a couple nails. We'll remove them when we leave. For now, we'll keep it rolled up, but uh, tonight, once it gets colder, it's gonna come in handy. So if you guys take a look, I made these little candle lanterns. Uh, really easy. All you have to do is take a mason jar, as you can see, it's just a tiny little mason jar there. Put one of those little candles in it, and then you take an old clothes hanger, and you create that little, uh, you know, that little loop that you slip the mason jar into, as well as the handle. And as you can see, slips in there really nice and you've got a nice little lantern.
Ellie, come here. Come here, girl. Come over here. All right, so tonight for dinner, I'm gonna be making some tacos and I am super excited to be using fresh produce that we grew ourselves. So amazing, and I, I just cannot wait to taste it. I'll tell you all about that in a little bit here, but first, let's cook our ground beef. I love cooking food over a fire. Um, I think because it requires more patience than a stove, because the heat's not always the most even, you know, uh, depending on, you know, how good a fire you have going. It just uh, really makes you sit in the moment and take in where you're at. All right, so it is time to put together these tacos. And as I said before, we've got some homegrown produce. Uh, I've got some lettuce and some cilantro here. Oh my gosh. So good, so fresh. And with that, I wanna tell you about the sponsor of this week's video, Garden, which made all of this possible. So Garden's mission is to help people live a healthier, more fulfilling life by growing pure, nutritious foods effortlessly without the use of pesticides. Their innovative micro-gardening and AI technology enable anyone to grow enough vegetables to feed their entire family. And what I love about it is you don't need a green thumb to do it. Let's just say I don't have one and Riley doesn't either. Here's how Garden worked for us. It arrived at our house and Riley immediately set everything up. Here are a few of the key things that I love about Garden. Number one is the nutritional value. You can experience liberation from the limitations of grocery store produce where up to 50% of its nutritional value can be lost. Second, they use high quality seeds. Garden carefully selects organic, locally sourced, and non-GMO seeds for diverse, high quality produce. Next is sustainable growing. Garden eliminates harmful pesticides and drastically reduces water usage by 95%. And let's not forget about AI-powered technology. What it does is it utilizes AI and integrated cameras to revolutionize plant care, giving you back valuable time and freeing you up to prioritize your health without the constant worry of plant maintenance. This is our first harvest that we are taking from the garden. Jack is making tacos tonight, so I'm going to cut some of the lettuce, and I'm also going to cut some of the cilantro over here. So what do you say we make some tacos? All right, let's give this thing a try. This is absolutely incredible and you can see it. I mean, look at the green in there. It adds so much flavor, so much more nutritional value to a meal like this. So if you wanna give Garden a try, you can do so by following the link in the description of this video. And I really hope you do because uh, it's such a cool thing to watch these plants grow. They taste amazing and it's an awesome way to live a healthier life. This is usually the time of night where um, it really starts to hit me that you know we're out here. And um, I think I've gotten really used to being in our other cabins where I can close a door, you know? We've got four walls around us. Uh, tonight's a different story. It's exhilarating, 
It's a little uncomfortable, but I'm here for it, you know? So you guys, I want to note that uh, there are bears out here. In fact, I have seen one. When Riley and I were here uh, earlier in the summer, black bear was right on the side of the road and darted into the brush. So they are definitely out here. Now, with that being said, black bears don't really worry me. Um, that's all we have here. Um, but you definitely have to still take some precautions. So we're going to store our food away from the cabin so uh, we don't have any bears poking around. We should get this thing fired up again. That's what I'm talking about. Well, the fire's starting to die out. And with that, I think it might be time to make our way into the cabin. I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's definitely spooky out here. Um, as I said before, you know, it's been a while since I've just slept exposed like this, but, uh, it's going to be fun. And every time I do something like this, when I wake up in the morning after being a little, you know, freaked out, I always feel so accomplished. And that's honestly like a feeling that's hard to match. here um the garbage and the cobwebs and the dust it, it grossed me out for sure but after picking it up setting up our space and uh you know being in here now not only is this going to be like super comfortable tonight but the ambiance is just like so relaxing So it was getting a little chilly in here, so I closed down the tarp and uh, turned on the heater. Ellie uh, keeps looking outside, which is a little freaky. What do you hear, Elle? not gonna worry about it we're just gonna cozy up and hit the hay good morning now good morning oh it's about 6 30 um i did not sleep the best i woke up few times and couldn't get back to sleep for a while but got some sleep but our heater held out sleeping bags nice and warm ellie and i are snuggling not too shabby feeling good
Oh. Very nice. Tastes good. Uh, really hitting the spot <laughs> this morning. <laughs> so the plan now is uh, I'm going to get our stuff generally packed up. And then we're gonna go for a little morning hike. If it seems possible, I'd love to go to the Kettle River. All right, so as you can see, we are right here. And this creek runs right through here. And that comes off of the Kettle River. Feels good being out on the trail this early, especially with the, uh, the cold weather we're having. It's just super fresh, you know? It's a great way to start the day, get your, your body moving and take in some, some fresh air. Oh, I see the river. It is straight through the trees down there. We are so, so close. Wow. Look at this little campsite here. Wow. Ellie, be careful. You be careful in there. Can't really blame her. It's definitely one of her last swims of the year. She lives to swim. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty awesome, huh, girl? Yeah. Wow. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for coming along. Um, man, this was such an awesome adventure. A brand new experience for me. It was definitely nerve wracking at points, but that added to sort of the fun and just the newness of what we experienced out here. And let me know if you liked it, because there are cabins like this strewn throughout the uh, state forests and other public lands that we have here in Minnesota. And I think it'd be fun to go check them out and stay in a few others. So if you liked it, let me know and we'll do more of this. I wanna thank all of you for watching, but give a special shout out to our patrons. Thank you so much for your support. Um, it really means the world to us that you would support our channel in that way. And uh, we're so grateful. But with that, I think it's about time we get out of here and hit the road. We'll see you on the next one.